Welcome to this video on triangles and congruency. In this video, we're going to review the fundamental concepts pertaining around triangles that will lead us towards using the skills to determine whether triangles are similar or congruent. So in this video, we're going to look at three particular things. The first thing we're going to look at is the fundamental concept of what is a triangle. Then we're going to look at the naming conventions of triangles, so naming triangles by their angle, and then finally naming a triangle by its side. Now for this video, please follow along and write the notes in your book as they're presented on this one note paper here. So you have some beautiful notes to reference when you're doing the problems later in the chapter. Now, first part we're going to look at is the fundamentals of a triangle. Now, a triangle itself is a three-sided shape with three vertices. Now, when we're naming a particular triangle, we usually give a uppercase letters on the outside. So we can go in this case, A, B, and C. And then the interior or the interior names of the angles, we call them lowercase of their uppercase equivalent. So lowercase A, lowercase B, lowercase C. Now, if we wanted to be able to reference this particular triangle, then we draw the triangle symbol and we simply pick the three letters. So we'd go A, B, and C. And we go triangle A, B, C. Now, this isn't the only way you can reference a triangle. If you wanted to, you can go B, C, A, or you could go triangle C, A, B. It doesn't really matter what order it goes in, so long as you get the three letters that compose the triangle you're talking about, that's all you need to do. Now, the second property of a triangle that's of particular interest to us is the sum of all the interior angles. So a triangle itself, the sum of the in internal angles all sum to 180 degrees. Thus, what we find is we can go A plus B plus C all sum to 180 degrees. This is the same for all triangles in Euclidean space. Now, if we wanted to reference the sides in a different way, um, the other way we can do it is for A, we simply go angle and then we stick the A in the middle and then we get the other two letters and we stick them on either side. This works the same for B as well, as well as C. So just another way you might see angles being referenced. So this is all the information that you need for a year nine level to be able to do geometric proofs or all the fundamental knowledge of a triangle at this stage. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is the naming convention of triangles based on their angles. Now, there are three types of triangles that we reference when we're talking about this. So the first one we're going to look at is a triangle where all of the angles themselves are less than 90 degrees. Now, this sort of triangle here, we call it an acute triangle. So in an acute triangle, all angles are less than 90 degrees. Now, the second type of triangle, that's quite a popular one for year nine, we see it quite prominently, is a triangle where there is a 90 degree in it. Now, this particular type of triangle, we call it a right angled triangle. And the thing that makes it a right angled triangle is that there's a 90 degree in it. So it doesn't matter what the other two sides are or the other two angles are. So long as there's a right angle in there, we call that a right angle triangle. Now, the final triangle that we're going to look at is something like, could look something like this. Now, notice with this sort of triangle, there's a angle inside it that is not acute, but rather it's obtuse. So we call this sort of triangle an obtuse triangle. So in summary, in a triangle where all angles are less than 90 degrees, we call that an acute triangle. In a triangle where there's at least one right angle, we call that a right angle triangle. And in a triangle where 
at least one side is obtuse, we call that an obtuse triangle. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is naming triangles based on their sides. Now, once again, there are three different triangles that we're going to be looking at. The first triangle that we're going to look at will look something like this. Now, this sort of triangle here, this side here is different to this side here, and it's different to this side here. So what we have is a triangle where all of the sides are of differing lengths. So side NP is not equal to side PQ, and side PQ is not equal to QN. Notice how I put the little bar on top of these two, or two, um, let us hear what this denotes is that we're talking about a distance or a side. Now this sort of triangle here, where they're of all different side lengths, we call this a scalene triangle. So a scalene triangle is a triangle where all of the sides in it are of a different length. Now the next triangle we're going to look at is something that looks like this. And when I put the measurements on the triangle, what we find is that two of the sides are the same. Now in this sort of triangle here, we call this particular one an isosceles. Notice the spelling. And in an isosceles triangle, what we find is that one pair of sides is equal in length. So in this case, our side SR is equal to side ST but they are not, they are not equal to RT. Alright, and now there's one more side, or one more triangle we're going to look at. It looks something like this. Let's see if I can draw it as well as I can. Okay, so this particular triangle here, notice that all the sides are the same. We call this particular triangle an equilateral. So in summary, we have a scalene triangle where none of the sides are equal. We have an isosceles where only two of the sides are equal. And finally, we have an equilateral triangle where all of the sides are equal. So all of the information presented in this video, it's going to be relevant to when you're doing problems involving similarity and congruency. So it would be a very good idea to copy this down into a page in your workbooks where you can use this as a reference. In the next video, we're going to have a look at the proofs that do or that deal with congruency as well as similarity.